Back in the first edition of Skyrim, or older than as it is more commonly known now, and the special edition, there have been countless mods involving textures and many others to beautify Skyrim. They existed to improve the appearance of the game and make it even more stunning than the vanilla game. And VR is no exception. There are plenty of combinations to make your Skyrim VR a stunning game. Some have high impacts while others low. Hello, and welcome to the next installment of Skyrim VR Top 10 Mods. Yet this will include more than 10 as today will be more categorized and it will include 20 today. In this video I'll tell you what mods can improve your game and make it absolutely stunning or at least remotely better than the vanilla game. This video will not include EMBs so be aware of that. EMBs will be an entirely different video as they are a different beast to tackle as I would need to acquire performance information as well. The following mods will have a slight impact, possibly even none if you download the mods according to your specifications. So, just go with your computer and hopefully it all works well for you. As I said before, this video will be divided into sections. Terrain, additives to that terrain to make it pop, like lighting. And then there's magic, weapons, and armor, creatures, and NPCs. Before we begin, if this video helped you decide on a mod or you simply enjoyed the input from this video, be sure to hit the like button and subscribe for more VR and comedic content. I also stream on Tuesday and Friday on three platforms, Facebook, Twitch, and YouTube. Link trees in the description. Also, if you'd like some more modding help from me, or you just want to join my community, join the Soul Chamber, my Discord server. Now let's pretty up your Skyrim VR game. First section we have is the NPCs. These are all overhauls that will change the NPCs in your game, and these will all work together quite well. First up, we have RS Children Overhaul. RS Children Overhaul changes the textures and designs of the children in Skyrim. Let's face it. The vanilla Skyrim textures for the children are all the same and they're absolutely horrendous. They all look like potatoes. They all look, uh, just, they all look the same, literally. And it is insane. It's like they had the same mother. And, uh, it's quite ugly. This mod changes all of the textures and makes them more pleasing and different from one another. However, the default mod still more or less keeps them relatively the same in terms of head shapes and such. The next mod though can overhaul the children even further and it's in addition to RS children overhaul. Realistic children overhaul. It makes all the children unique to their looks and still have them look pleasing to the eye and not look like potatoes that Bethesda originally created. They all look absolutely stunning and different. It's kind of weird to say out of context. I'm not a pedophile, I swear. FBI, open up! From there, we head to the women of Skyrim, at least a good majority of them. Vision All-in-One, which includes Vision NPCs, Wives, and War Maidens. This all-in-one mod beautifies the majority of women in Skyrim, making them more pleasing. Some are unfitting to the nature that makes Skyrim, or the Elder Scrolls, as I picture Skyrim a more medieval type of game. But nonetheless, the textures are phenomenal, especially when they're paired with mods that alter their skin to make the textures even better, like vision skin or fair skin complexion. Note, if you want a never nude option, there is a separate mod for that if you have the UNP body. I think the CBBE body uh, might have one as well. I'm not entirely sure. I use the UNP body because it's more realistic i guess um anyway serenaholic is also made by the same creator of the vision series and it replaces the look of serana and valerica if you decide to change valerica as well anyway the mod has a selection of models for you to choose from for serana's overhaul so choose what you'd like i chose the 1.8 version of the mod for the hornified male this is uh, quite the eye candy eye candy everywhere just remember they're not real. You're real. They are not. This is game. Even though you're in VR, this is a game. Lastly, for the NPC section, we have Wicko, Windsong Immersive Character Overhaul. A popular mod across the Nexus, Wicko overalls the NPCs across Skyrim, including the DLC. It makes the world improved by their drastic changes. You can see the differences between the characters if you're used to the original vanilla textures or other mods, really. Waco keeps the textures lore-friendly, yet still makes them more realistic and visually pleasing. 
you can go up to Nazim and see the pores on that man. He is absolutely ugly. That sack of <laughs> Now we're at the second category, textures, to improve spells and their effects. This will make the effects across Skyrim much more pleasing, whether it's the flames of a torch or the frost from spells. Again, this will all work well together and are highly recommended for me. 100% recommended. First up, Embers HD, a small yet aesthetic texture mod for the braziers and other various fire sources across Skyrim. Pairing this with Inferno Fire Effects Redux creates a more aesthetic flame. <laughs> that just reminds me of Dark Souls. Inferno is a successor to a popular mod by Rhea Dude, I think that's how you pronounce it. Uh, it's all one word. Anyway, Rhea Dude heavily improved the meshes and textures of all fire effects with Ultimate HD fire effects. Inferno recreates those fires with a high res texture as well and creates a new effect such as glow and the changing of the hue and the color. These fire effects are spread throughout all the fire sources in your game and it looks absolutely realistic and stunning for the counterpart of flames we have arctic frost effects redux from the same author of inferno arctic creates new 3d meshes of your frost spells and changes a very small effects throughout the game with its high-res textures you can get a better looking frost spell throughout your skyrim game you could have infractions you could have reflections you can make it transparent there are other mods it recommends to use with this mod to make it more impactful and visually stunning when you use these spells next we'll give the last element some love thunderbolt another high res texture mod from a different author this mod is a successor to another lightning texture mod called voltage thunderbolt gives you a high res lightning textures and effects while keeping the aesthetic vanilla effects and colors thunderbolt is one of those things that makes lightning so much better and it looks phenomenal. Lastly, we have a texture mod that can increase the feeling of wielding a dangerous spell that was released from your hands. And again, all of these mods tie well together, so use it. That is Deadly Spell Impacts. Deadly Spell Impacts adds unique textures to the individual spells as well as spit to the game. You know, those cores hunters, those really giant bugs and the spiders, yeah, it's those. It retextures that as well. This mod also changes the impact size by the size of prowess of an effect like dragon breath or melting snow from the other elements. This adds more of a variety to the, to the basic textures that the game gives you. And it looks stunning. So good. So good. I want my ground to look charred, not just spat on for the next section we have armors weapons and creatures all of these are texture mods to make the items around you look more aesthetically pleasing as well as the creatures as you know the kind of the video is that purpose <laughs> first off we have a midian born book of silence this mod provides high quality textures for various items and creatures in the game all the textures have been made from scratch and is still performance friendly for VR users, I suggest downloading individual textures from the mod page and not the complete edition from Amidian Born for more customizability for one. And two, I think they were having issues with it, but I'm not entirely sure, but mainly for the customizing, I would do that. As much as I love Amidian Born, I've always used it back in Old Rim and Special Edition. There are plenty of other texture mods that can improve the creatures of Skyrim. But there's one that I thoroughly love as it just makes the bears look so much better. Bears of the North, a visual overhaul of the bears, which is obvious from the name itself. Now there are three types of bears across Skyrim with, with distinct features. They also look bigger and more realistic. Brown bears being the tallest and biggest of the three, and probably one of the most dangerous, kind of like a grizzly. Cave bears being relatively small to the other two, yet adapted to the dark areas as, you know, they're cave bears. <laughs> the snow bears, slightly smaller than the brown bear, but always seeking prey by the waters and the icy terrains. That also includes you. They all look phenomenal. I highly suggest you get this. And don't forget patches. Lastly, for the weapons, we have believable weapons. 
It is not a retexture. Whatever mod you use for retextures of your weapons, it will work just fine. Believable Weapons reshapes the style and the majority of the weapons throughout Skyrim. This mod shapes the weapons to look more realistic and not large and clunky like its vanilla counterparts. It makes them look more realistic to wield. It makes them more believable to your character to wield. This mod is configurable with its uh, faux mod installer, so pick whatever you like and go with it. Or you can do what I did and just get them all, because I like realism. For the last segment, we have the mods that ingest our terrain. And for this section, we'll start with the texture mods and then make our way to the little extras that add to those textures. Noble Skyrim, a mod that I've used since I began my modding journey in Olderim. Noble Skyrim gives all the architecture across Skyrim a new look, but this can also include landscapes, dungeons, and more. It just depends on what you get. It makes Skyrim look 10 times better than the original concepts of the game. Here's a bonus for you. If you're having some issues running the mod, they have a performance pack, so you can still get most of those beautiful textures. I highly recommend it. Now you could continue with Noble Skyrim's landscapes. However, if you want to get more to the terrain, of Skyrim, I suggest looking at Cathedral Landscapes. Cathedral Landscapes adds dense grass that complements the terrain. It also eliminates the grass pop-ins as much as possible. This is probably one of the most performance-friendly grass mods to have on with your textured overhauls. There's like no difference really with the base game in Cathedral installed. Uh, it's insane. Grass mods are one of the most taxing mods to have on your game. So if you want a grass mod, get Cathedral Landscapes. It looks phenomenal. I've tried different types of grass mods and Cathedral just takes the cake and it is a damn good cake. It makes it so much better. So much more depth is added to the game with this mod. Again, there are also options in the faux mod installer to have blended roads or make it a tundra. If you want a tundra in Skyrim, then get it. It actually might fit your game even further because it's a snowy place and tundras are well in the snowy parts of the world so that might work for you while we are adding more to our flora why don't we have simply bigger trees the name itself is self-explanatory it makes the trees much bigger nearly doubling the original sizes as well as high-res lod's uh, lod's is those trees in the backgrounds and by the mountains and stuff you know they're really far away or just makes it look better from a distance in a sense this mod retains the textures from your mod so feel free to try out different textures or you can go with the ones i've given you if you have everything i've given you the rift is a spectacle if you install this mod it is absolutely stunning now we have the textures of the overall game installed and now we can add stuff to the distance or in just in general first off we have obsidian mountain fogs the default fogs of Skyrim are small when you look at mountains. Uh, this mod increases the volume of those mountains, those, those mountain clouds, giving it more depth to Skyrim. You want more depth. You want it to make it look real. And also, pro gamer move here, it also lessens the uh, flickers if the modder desires to not delve into the any to uh, get rid of the flickering on them in the mountains. Since we adjusted the distant fogs, we can add weathers. Uh, specifically a VR friendly mod and I th actually I think it's made specifically for VR uh, Onyx Weathers. It is a weather mod based off of Obsidian Weathers yet it is tweaked specifically for VR. Onyx Weathers also includes a configurable menu to see if you're using an EMB or just want to adjust the brightness of the game or even seasons and all the weathers correlate together well. I believe this works with Frostfall if you have Frostfall installed in your game from the previous videos. On to lighting. We have Relighting Skyrim. It adjusts the lights throughout Skyrim while keeping it vanilla. It gives the lights more depth and creates a proper radius and shadows for your Skyrim. And to increase the lighting even further, we can add enhanced lighting for EMB, which you do not need an EMB to use this mod. It just makes it easier for people with EMBs, <laughs> essentially. But uh, with ELE, it adjusts the interior lighting of Skyrim, creating an even more realistic depth and color palette while still keeping performance. This makes dungeons darker as they should be to begin with. It's a dark, dreary place. Of course, you want to be in dark place. 
you don't want it to be extremely bright when you're in a cave unless you have a torch or something it makes it more realistic more as i said earlier more depth this also creates more depth and the ends or small homes when you're gathering around a fire or such lastly we have a bit of an extra but it's very good to have we have imaginator a mod that adjusts the image of your game this is a good substitute if you don't want to use an EMB, so be aware of this. If you want to use an EMB, yet your computer can handle it, this is a good substitute, a very good substitute. I use it just to use it. I can run an EMB, but I like this because I, I have control. Imaginator gives you complete control of brightness, contrast, saturation, bloom, tint, and even more. All you have to do is use the power given to you or with the optional MCM menu, in the mod page the images you can create are at your fingertips and you can make an absolutely stunning game with the rest of these mods all together all of these mods all together make an absolutely beautiful game i highly suggest you download them all if you haven't downloaded any texture mods or don't have a personal preference at all i highly suggest you get them all to yourself and use them all to your for your game because all of these together make it so much nicer so much cleaner so much more pretty more more beautiful it's what you wanted right you wanted a more beautiful skyrim well this is it all of these 20 mods you can get they're easy to install they're fantastic to look at yeah it's just all eye candy all of its eye candy is specifically something but uh, eye candy uh yeah anyway that is it for these top 20 mods you could have to beautify your skyrim vr be sure to endorse the mods you've downloaded to support the creators and encourage them to do more or to just give them pride at least i hope they get that anyway all the links for these mods will be in the description below as well as a link tree for my socials and streaming platforms and don't forget if you want to join the discord to be up to date with my content or just to chat with me and my fellow compatriots you can join in the link below if you liked any of the mods or found this video helpful, be sure to like the video. Also, you can see these mods in action on my Skyrim VR roleplay series, which is posted every Sunday morning CST. If you're interested in other VR content as well as comedic moments, be sure to subscribe and hit the bell to get notified of future videos. And one last thing is to keep your soul free.